I'm Bryce from Bad Machine Tool, and today I'd like to introduce you to our new HLV828 Retrofit. It features a numeric 828D controller integrated to a fully rebuilt Hardinch HLVH toolroom lathe. The display is a 15 inch touchscreen and features onboard shop turn conversational programming. The Z and X axes feature AC brushless servo motors and have 0 0.01 micron absolute scale feedback so you don't have to home the machine when you boot it up. The spindle is powered by a 5 horsepower asynchronous motor. Some of the features that we integrate to retain the feel of a manual hardened toolroom lathe is we convert the electronic hand wheels as well as the clutch levers to work with the control. So these can be enabled through the machine control panel and then you can crank the machine just like you would a manual lathe. This allows for quick setup of tools and easy facing and basic turning operations. We can turn the spindle on using the original lever and we can control the direction in the factory location. If I load in a tool, I can now come up and face off my stock, set a part zero, or touch off my tools with ease. If we want to use the clutch levers on the machine control panel, we have our left, off, and right buttons. This allows you to use the clutch levers just like you would on your power feed unit. So if I come up into position to take a cut, I can then switch into continuous jog, turn my feed rate override down, and now we're turning the OD just like you would on a manual lathe. And you can vary it in cut. Let's do a quick part. We have our tools over here, which are already set up. So I'll we'll grab our stock and load it into the spindle. Now we'll grab our roughing tool so we can touch off our part and set our work offset. So we're gonna switch over to manual spindle control so we can use our lever to turn the spindle on and we'll enable our electronic hand wheels and then we'll come over and face the part off. And now we'll set our work offset. All right, now that that's entered into the control, we'll retract our tool, switch the machine into automatic mode, and begin our program. All right, now we can clear our chips, grab our finishing tool, load that in, confirm that we've changed the tool. Now we'll load in our threading tool.
All right, so you can see our finished demo part. Let's quickly go over some of the manual features. So our MPG is down here. To enable it, you just press the button, and then our one-tenth will give us our normal feed, and our variable will give us a tenth of that. So it'll be 60 thousandths per revolution of the hand wheel in variable, and 20 thousandths per revolution on the X. And in our normal feed, it's just the same as the manual tool room lathe, which is 600 thousandths and 200 thousandths per revolution. So when you're in jog, it allows you to use the uh, manual spindle control. So to do that, right down here, we enable manual control, and then we can turn the spindle on with the lever, and we can control direction from over here, forward and reverse. So if we want to go to half speed, we have a 50% button that'll go to half speed, which is 1500 or half of 3000 RPM, which is the max on this lathe. So you can use the minus button or the plus button to go up or down in 100 RPM increments, and you can hold it to allow it to keep going. We have manual control of either a flood or a mist, and in automatic, that's all programmable. We have a lube key, so if you haven't booted the machine in a while, you can give it a quick shot of lubrication before you use it. For the clutch levers, here's your left, right, and off. So if I switch it to left, continuous jog, I can turn our feed rate override down. And I can jog it, and if I want to speed it up or slow it down. You can also do incremental jog, so you can do 10,000 increments and you can use the uh, levers to do that or one thou increments or even one tenth increments uh, there's also jog keys if you want to use a more traditional jog here's our z we'll go to continuous and you can jog the machine just like that and there's your x-axis jog that concludes our demo i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have any questions our contact information is available at babinmachine.com